telling you guys about all their options. Let's, let's go reverse it real fast so that you guys really understand this shit. Let's say you wake up in the morning, right? You wake up in the morning and then you get a text. Good morning, handsome. I'd love to get breakfast with you. All breakfast on me at this spot right down the street from you. Um, I'll be there in about two hours. You're like, oh, that's pretty cool. I am kind of hungry. I'll take right? it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Then you get another message. Pause. Hey there, stud. I'm going to the gym at 12 p.m. I'd love to go with you. Maybe you could teach me a thing or two. I'll teach you a couple things. All right. Ooh. Then you get another one. Hey, I'm renting out a boat later on today. Um, I'm going to have a... Some some of my girlfriends with me that are gonna be all hot and you know we'd love to have you on, um, take some pictures maybe hell maybe maybe we'll pay you to show up, Ooh. right? Then Ooh. another one. Hey, having a penthouse party tonight, 9 p.m. Uh, it's gonna be great. You can network with some other higher status guys that we're inviting. Network. It's gonna be great. Um, and I'll have some of my girlfriends there as well. All bad bitches. Ooh. Right? Then. Hey, what's up, handsome? Just sending you five hundred dollars because you're so fucking good looking. Oh my god! Thanks for being in my in my world. You the one, baby. Right? Ooh. Then another one. Hey there. Let's say your name is Tom. Not the nigga I was talking about earlier. Pause. Um, hey Tom, I just want to say that you're the most handsome guy I've ever seen. I'd love to go out with you sometime. Are you free tonight? Why? Thank you. Right. Another one. Hey Tom. Um, I booked us a uh, a dinner at Komodo later tonight if you're available. Let me know. Squinty face. Ooh. Now, let's go ahead and expand on that. Let's say that happens to you for one day. You'd probably think you're the shit, wouldn't you? You'd be like, damn, maybe I am a stud. Maybe I am. That's my phone. Hercules on here, right? Then it happens for two days. Well, you're yeah. going to think, damn, I'm, I'm fucking Thor. I'm like almost on God mode. Now it happens for seven days. Then you think you're fucking invincible. Let's multiply that by one year. Homelander. No one could touch you. Let's multiply it by two years. You're unstoppable. Oh, the boys. You guys see where the fuck I'm going here? You literally would think you are God's gift to women if you got this type of attention and you got this type of love every single day for nothing more for the fact that you exist and you have a penis. You would become a piece of shit person, wouldn't you? You wouldn't go out and you wouldn't care about going to the gym as much. Nope. You wouldn't care about developing yourself mentally. Nope. You wouldn't watch certain documentaries to understand what really happened in World War II. You wouldn't do any research to figure out who really runs this country. You wouldn't give a fuck about any of that shit, would you? You would just sit there and be a low IQ moron, not read, not better yourself, not go to the gym. You would just wake up, smoke weed, hang out, and take on free dates all day. Wouldn't you? Yes, you would. My friends, ta-da! <laughs> That is the life of a modern day girl that's super attractive. That's what it is. And you guys wonder why they behave the way that they do. It's because of everything I just listed. If you got messages like that for days, months, years on end for nothing more that you exist, you wouldn't fucking feel the need to self-improve either. And you would literally pick the best options that came your way. You want to become right pilled in 10 seconds? Hit up a bad chick, a beautiful girl, go to her Instagram, look her DMs. She's getting offers on a daily, maybe 10 times every 30 minutes. Good offers, by the way. Celebrities, entertainers, athletes, rich guys, business guys, average guys. It's almost like if like, they could wake up any single day, any time of the day, go to their Instagram and say, okay, what do I want to do today? What offers do I have on the table <laughs> to go to? And you'd be surprised to see what's in there. And I'm telling you guys, like, you can think you're the, the shit. You're the richest guy in the world. You're the coolest guy. There's offers out there that you will not believe. I'm telling you, like, they get offers out the wazoo. So understanding that, just know it's competition out there for sure. But again, if you can put that charm on her, if you can put that actual, like, imprint where it's like, okay, you know what? I want to get to know this guy better then you can win. And again, it may not happen in the first encounter. Maybe the second, third, maybe the fourth. But through time, maybe Instagram stories, Snapchat stories, whatever that may be, you can do it. So that's number three. Okay, number four? Uh, yeah, go ahead. You kick it off. You, you want some, some chats first real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah. We could yeah. read some chats, actually. What's the chat um, saying? Shout out to all you ninjas uh, in the chats. Um, Truth and lies. 
FNF, I'm a brokey. I started the dip uh, clip in the podcast. I hope to get full clearance, especially on the newer episodes. I got a copyright claim. I did dispute it. P.S. I did message you guys via Twitter, but it was on an NPC account. Um, oh, so you're trying to clip the channel. I mean, we, we need to know what your channel is if we're going to whitelist you, etc. cetera. Um, but you got to be doing some views, bro. Um, we don't mind people using our stuff uh, and clipping it, um, but... Which you know, but you gotta you gotta get some views. Make sure you do uh, good clips, and then be careful what you clip. Uh, how do you go? Yeah, but yeah, go ahead and message your um, message us your your um, your thing. How do you go about complimenting a girl on her looks, or don't do it at all? Yeah, try to avoid it, man. Um, if you want to give her a com com compliment, bro, do it on her actual like attire, not her herself, like or something about her that actually deserves complimenting. Don't yeah. just compliment for no reason, man. Yeah, it, you you'd be surprised just seeing like for example. Um, your eyebrows, like, look really good. That's very simple, but they're like, wow, like, you know about eyebrows? There you go. Afternoon, fellas. Minor, were you able to connect with Coach Greg on the Jubilee video? We've had Coach Greg already on, guys, so go ahead and check that episode. Um, but love, it uh, says love an interview with him. Fairly similar views on the world, and especially fitness. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, um, he was definitely agreeing with me on a lot of the stuff. Obviously, he had to say it in a certain way. Fitness influencers, guys, are kind of restrained in how honest they can be with certain things, but... He agreed with me on a lot of the stuff. The other people were being uh, NPCs as usual. I'll probably see him in Vegas uh, soon coming up. He's going to be there? Yeah, he lives there. You forgot? No, he doesn't. No, he lives in Canada. Oh, they're talking, about Greg, Greg, they're, they're talking about Greg Doucette. I think I mean Greg Adams. No, no, no. Greg Doucette. Cool, cool. Um, need advice. Uh, oh, no. Uh, MMA friend says, I need help. Girls, I add off dating apps. Always delete me after seeing my stories with other girls. You and Sartain teach that women like men who get other women. So am I constantly being removed? Are they insecure? I'm 6'5 and successful. Um, what is in your stores particularly, bro? Are you out here like fucking making out with chicks or whatever? Are you like partying or whatever? <laughs> because if, because the thing is, is that yes, DHVing too much and showing pre-selection too much can come off as forced and girls might not like that. So yes, you will lose some girls, but you will absolutely gain some as well. So it, it depends on what type of market you're trying to go towards. If you're over here talking to 35 year old chicks, that like are trying to look for something more serious, then yeah, of course they're gonna fucking remove you because yeah. they're looking for something more serious. So it also depends on what demographic of women you're going after as well, which is how you gotta tailor your profile. Um, what do we got here? Uh, uh, Vigal Rolling Stone says, need advice, smash my friend's wife. What the hell? They live, they live in a different state, but I feel shitty about it. We both got drunk, went out in a group, and I gave her the piping of her life. Now she wants to see me again. <laughs> what the fuck, what? Yeah, what's wrong with you, man? L-mans, bro. L-mans, dog. That's fucked up, bro. Yo, yo, if you know that's your, that's your homie's wife, bro, that's messed up, dog. That, like, it's one thing to not know that that's his wife, but you know full well that's his wife, bro. Like, that's... You gotta be trolling. That's wild, bro. That's like a troll. Where's man. the bro code? You gotta be trolling. I hope he's trolling. Damn, that's messed up, bro. Yo, you... fucked up, bro. That's some bad karma, bro. I, I would... That's bad karma, bro. Yeah. If it's even real. This is why it's so important to be friends with only dudes that get chicks. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to... Bro, I could, like, you, you're a thirsty nigga, man. Like, my homie's girl? <laughs> you you a thirsty boy, man. Dude, to me, my homie's girl, I can't even see her as a human being, bro. Yeah. You, you know what I see her as? That's his possession. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, are we, are we, are you, are you no, we're not. Bro. I told okay. you we're on YouTube. But, but that's the point. I can't even look at her like a oh. girlfriend or even like a girl I can talk to because that's my nigga's... That's his, that's his girl, you feel me? So, like, in that instance, even me being drunk, I'd be like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm going home. So Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. That That's 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 wild, bro. This is why I tell y'all all the time, man. Like, you always want to be be buddies with guys that, like, get women, man. Because guys that get women don't don't even think like that, bro. You, you a thirsty nigga, bro. I'll keep it a thousand with you. Actually, we, we're going to tell a story about girls uh, on Castle Club with uh, <laughs> double dates. It's a funny shit. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. Absolutely. Uh, any more chats, uh, Bills, before we go? Okay, Trayvon says, good evening, Myron and Walter. I like when you guys do these shows like this. It brings the throwback throw feeling of the videos that y'all used to do. Keep bringing us the knowledge and great content. Thank you, guys. Thank Shout out to you, bro. We got you, man. Uh, Mary Restro says, yo, Myron, do y'all have a general for L Salt Lake, SLC? Salt Lake, City. Salt Lake City, Utah. I asked Mo two weeks ago and no response. Um, we don't. Not for Salt Lake City. Uh, that's not a city that we were thinking about, but hey, man, if you are serious about it and you're thinking about it, message Mo on um, Instagram. Message him on Instagram right now, but you can't be a brokey, man. You gotta have your shit together. If, if, you, if you're not a man that other men wanna be like, we're not gonna make you a general. You gotta lead by example. So, uh, 
Menline Ninja uh, says, WFNF Goat Show, but we need to talk about cold approaching more. More dudes are relying on these lame apps. Maybe another show on approaching. <laughs> also, when Hodge Twins coming on. Uh, I can. I think they said something about July uh, last time I spoke with them and their team. And then cold approaching. We did an episode on cold approaching, but we could do another one if you guys want. Did we do, do it with mystery? We did talk about cold approaching with mystery as well, yeah. Yeah. Um, My de- Dia says, can you guys open up DMs on demand? Actually, uh, we yes, should, we bro. can. We can open that for you. We should, bro. Not going to lie, Fit, we need more fitness episodes. You have a lot of knowledge on working out. Yeah, I do. I just don't cover it as much, guys, because I'll be honest with y'all. Like, It's very straightforward and simple, and, and fitness is like a dying genre, if I'm going to be all the way a thousand with y'all. Um, how do you mark yourself on social media if you're a Fed worker? Ooh, okay. Well, um, that's a good question because I used to work for the government, and honestly, yeah, bro, you're going to be restricted depending on um, your clearance. If, you're, if you don't have like a, a high-level clearance, then you can mark yourself more. That's what it comes down to. So I don't know what your clearance is. But assuming you have a super high clearance, just make sure you have a couple really good uh, private pictures. Uh, sorry, private, uh, good professional photos, and then you can make your profile private. And don't post anything that is um, that can be, what's the word I want to use here? Divisive is a good term. So what you can do, like Myron's saying, keep it very professional, but I go to close friends. So if you, you want to do be, that too. Yeah, add them to close friends. That's, that's how you do it. Yep. So only the girls see it and not everybody on your following list. That's a good tip. Uh, what else do we got here? Um, Natty Sachs Hey, guys, I've been watching for a couple years now. I'm Jamaican. I live on the island. I have a decent paying job and getting consistent in the gym. I love living here, but I need to increase my income. Which business ideas for Money Mondays do you think I can implement from here on the island? Also, I have crypto on Coinbase, but buying and cashing out is no longer supported here. Do you know of any other platform I can transfer these assets to? Boom, oh God. Uh, so for crypto, so... Cause he, I think he's in Jamaica, right? He says, I live yeah. on the island. He said, which business ideas for Money Mondays do you suggest? Yeah, I mean, right now, my friend, yeah, so it's good. You identified your problem. Your problem is you have an income problem. You need to make more money. Um, so what you can do is you could start a side hustle or you could get another job and then use that money from that job to start, to start a side hustle. Um, I will say since you don't make that much right now, you could potentially get into ATMs, right? That's that's something that you can, don't need as much capital to get into. Um, watch the episode that we did with, um, with Andrew and Bessie. We talk about it in detail, how to go ahead and get your business started when you got little to no money by using credit cards, okay? So watch that episode, Natty Sachs, if you haven't seen it yet. If he's in Jamaica, he's going to need to focus on tourism-type uh, work. That does that pays pretty well over there because he's in Jamaica. Yeah. So that's what I would say, too. Um, yo, Fed at 18 11, does cutting cards your diet lower your libido, BBC gang? Um, for some, it can. <laughs> for some, it can. Why are you talking about that, bro? Uh, yo, Fed, what? It's good. Did you guys look into Chris Beck? I really want to see him on FNF. And can you try to get Stephen Greer? I I, I tweeted it on uh, on X. I don't know where uh, uh, Stephen Greer, what happened. I know he was in Miami recently. Um, I don't know who that David Beck on guy is, though. Um, I don't know either. I don't know either. Yeah. Uh, Mo, can you research it real quick? Uh, can you bring on Daniel Hakitaujo, the Bro, Muslim what? skeptic on the show? He is Muslim divorce expert, and he talks about the injustice in the Sharia courts. Simp. And moms and how feminism is taking over. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've never heard that name before, guys. If we're gonna bring a guest on, we want uh, we want to bring a guest that like a majority of people want. We're not gonna just bring random people on. Like, we need to bring people on that people actually want to see. Like, I have no idea who that guy is, bro. Keeping a thousand with y'all, or that we know personally. Try to request guests that other people want, guys. Uh, we need more types of these shows. It's been a while, and it reminds me of the OG F and F. We got you. We got boys. you, bro. Worry, boys. We got you. Um, what else do we got here? The only way to be of value as a man is to be fit, fresh, and focused on leading the world. Forget these three or fours. Get your value up. Them three or fours will follow you and the ones you want, not ran through chicks. Okay, rules as follows. Appreciate that. What else do we got? I like that quote. Huh? Everything else got to do on Rumble. Everything else we got to do on Rumble. We can't do it. read them on YouTube. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what else do we got? We have number four, I believe. Okay. All right. So uh, <laughs> last three we'll do on Castle Club because these are kind of in detail. Actually, we should do it now, bro. We should do these on Castle Club or Rumble only. All right, we can... Uh, yeah, these are kind of like uh, raunchy. Yeah? yeah? Okay, well, yeah, definitely can't do them on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, ninjas, come on over. We could do Rumble and Castle Club. Yeah, yeah. Sound Rumble a little bit longer. Um, guys, come on over to... Uh, uh, Rumble. Or actually, you know what? No, just just, just toggle off to... to, to don't, we don't got to turn the stream off. We'll just toggle off to, to Rumble real quick. Uh, while we do this point. Okay. All right. Number four. Sometimes they get paid. Hold on. Hold on. So they part. Oh, 
Sorry. Gotta, gotta He's just listening one of no, Well, I'm, I'm just doing no, the no, title. No. Okay. Okay, so they get paid to go outside. We're good? So what does that mean? So you invite a girl out on a date, and she actually is saying to you, oh, you're cool. I'm down to go out. But then she gets an offer that she can't refuse. And we mentioned it before, but this one's a little bit more different because it involves money. Now, uh, I don't think you guys know this, but like a lot of girls nowadays are on sugar sites. They're definitely more in tune with getting money for their bodies and just for showing the places. Like there's a multitude of things you can do as a girl to make money, but now more than ever, they may hit on Instagram, Snapchat, <clears throat> sites, and the offers are including money nowadays. So she might even like you for how you look, but she gets an offer for money to go eat dinner, to go just stand at a club. Now, I like to think that she's a good person, but doing that, I think she's a bad person. But regardless of the facts, this is happening in real time. And if you don't know what's happening, it's literally the culture of women that want to be seen for attention and get paid. And this just means that, call it what it is, she's a whore. And funny enough, she won't tell you that she's getting paid to go out. She'll just say to you, oh, you know, again, uh, something came up, uh, I have to work, or, you know, uh, I want my friends. R regardless of the fact, guys, is they're getting paid to go out. And some are called atmosphere models. Some are called sugar babies. Some are just called fucking dinner dates. Whatever it is they, they call it, they're going to pay it to go out. And as a result, they're going to choose that over you. Now, you. You can get mad at it. You can say, oh, bro, fuck this bitch, whatever. Understandable. But this is happening right now, guys. And if you don't understand this, you get mad at it. Understandable. But just so you know, this is a real thing that happens. And you got the best setup possible. Have the lifestyle. If you're just going to pay to go out, bro, it's what it is. She might go to that date. So... Yeah, um, this is kind of a dirty little secret that a lot of people don't talk about. Um, so if you're dealing with a girl that's extremely attractive, right, model type chicks or whatever, you know, a lot of the times guys don't flake on dates because they're able to make money elsewhere. It could be something as um, allegedly innocent as being an atmosphere model, which for those of you guys that are wondering what an atmosphere model is, as we talked about before, you guys know the nightlife is declining, right? A lot of bars and clubs are struggling to get patrons to come in there. So what they do is they hire these girls a lot of times to be atmosphere models, to create a certain vibe like, look, we got hot chicks that are in here, et cetera. It's very common, especially in major cities like Miami and Los Angeles, New York, et cetera, where they hire these girls to be atmosphere models. And a lot of girls do it as a side hustle. So you might get a girl that's like an atmosphere model, right? She, she flicks on a date because she's an atmosphere model, all the way up to she's going on what's called a paid per meet date with a guy. And you guys would be shocked at how many girls do this shit. Uh. I would argue in today's day and age right now, Better than 20% of girls have either done or currently do some type of sugar babying where they're getting paid to go on dates or um, getting some type of benefit. Maybe it's a bag, a gift, whatever the fuck it is. And this is what's going on, guys. Like, it's very probable that she might flake on you and go on a date with another guy that's just paying her to be there. And this is very common, especially if you live in a major city where it's extremely uh, competitive. A Miami, a New York, a Las Vegas, a Phoenix, Arizona, whatever it may be. If there's an influx of hot girls doing uh, in, in a major city, this shit is going on, guys. It's very, very fucking common. So, um, of course, she's not going to tell you that shit. She's going to give you some excuse like, sorry, something came up or I'm going out with friends or whatever. But it happens. Um, or it could be just them getting paid it's, it's paid to show up for a dinner. Like, there's, there's literally promoters out there guys where what they do is it's their job to find girls get them to show up to dinners right with these with these dudes that are out of towners that are paying or whatever and they'll go to some like very luxurious expensive restaurant and the girls will just sit there and eat for free and they'll just be paid to be there like and that's just what it is so this is what you're up against a lot of the times guys and sometimes you get flaked on not because you're an ugly dude or because you're a loser or maybe your offer wasn't good it's simply she can make money from being at one of these locations, and that's just what it comes down to, Yep. unfortunately. And that's like kind of out of your hands. That's just the current marketplace that we're in, and this is why it's so important. When I tell you guys, you need to be working volume, you need to be talking to a bunch of different girls because this is what's going on. And the more attractive the women are that you're talking to or that you're dealing with, the more prevalent this becomes, okay? I mean, average girls get this these opportunities too, but when you're talking to like really bad chicks, bro, they're all involved in some type of work like this. And you know what's scary about this as well? It's starting in junior college. Yep. It's starting there as in school. So imagine you're 18, 19, 20, 
your classmates are getting paid to go on dates. Why are they going to date you? It's tough, man. It's tough out here. So that's number four. All right, number five. Ex-boyfriend comes back into the picture. This one we go back to YouTube for. Cool, yeah, it's pretty safe. <clears throat> and this just means that her ex-boyfriend that was actually there from the past, or even guy that she was just smashing in general, says, hey, I want to see you tonight. It's pretty simple here what could happen. We're like, his history with that guy, he's already been in there, he's already been around her. So she's comfortable being with this guy, your new guy. And girls hate to add new bodies to their account. It's almost like if, like, they rather go back into the past to the same body, not to bring the body count up, because they know this this person, they're very familiar, it's not a new body, and they'll say in their mind, you know what, this guy, I know pretty well, I already hit him raw, I'm gonna go with him. Versus a new guy that they never met, it's like, oh, he might be a weirdo, I'm gonna stay inside. So that alone was, will tell herself, you know what, this guy's cool, but I'm gonna just go with my, with my familiar guy that I know from, from the past. Ex-boyfriend, ex-lover, you know, smash or whatever, that's what she, she's gonna go to naturally as a girl. Yeah, um, this is very, th this, this, and <laughs> So this happens a lot of times. Like, let's say you're talking to a girl, then she just like randomly ghosts or acts weird or whatever, or she doesn't like, you know, she flakes last minute or she's very um, abrupt in certain things. A lot of the times, guys, that comes back to some dude that she was talking to in her past has come back into the picture, whether it was an ex-boyfriend, an old smash buddy, a guy that didn't rejected her before, but now he's coming back into it. Like that's ends up happening a lot of the times because contrary to what like some girls might say, it's very difficult for women to date multiple guys at the same time. Like some girls do it, but typically they do that until they find the best counterpart and then they just stick with that guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, most girls would prefer to be talking to and seeing one guy exclusively from a sexual standpoint, especially. It's very difficult for them to give their body out to more than one guy at a time. Now, are some girls capable? Of course. But a lot of them would prefer not to do that. So if a guy comes back into the fray that they liked already, and you're trying to set something up with her, and you guys are in the early stages, and she's not attached to you yet, she'll go back to the familiar. She will go back to the familiar, right? She's not, like, girls aren't like us where, like, we like something new, right, all the time. Like, girls, if they can, would prefer to stick with something that they already know. Because as you guys know, their job is to preserve their value. Your job as a man is to create your value. So men like new and strange. Women like old and familiar. It yep. is what it is typically, right? Especially if that guy was, like, an ex or a guy that, like, maybe broke up with her or whatever it is, she's going to want that validation from that guy. So you guys would be surprised at how many times like you'll get flaked on or whatever, and she won't even give you a response because she don't want to tell you um, that someone else came into the picture. Or, 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 the, or, or, or it could be an ex or whatever, or she just found a better option. And that's just what it is. And he, he was able to get to her faster than you did. Think about this. Every girl that like you meet out and about that you're going to date with, it smashes somebody at the same time. Now, what Myron said earlier is that, like, when you meet the girl for the first time, she has people in her life from before, which means you have to outdo her current guy that she's dealing with so she can go to you. It's weird to have that mindset, but that's what's happening, guys. Like, she knew guys before you. They were smashing her before you. So she's meeting you. She's like, okay, is this guy up to par? Is this actually this guy I want to be with? Is this actually the guy I want to take serious? Once she confirms that, she'll go to you. But ultimately, somebody had her before you. It's and, crazy. And also, it, it all, it, it's really, like, spontaneous like that's another thing too like some of you guys might hook up with a girl right and then like you'll hit her up and then she won't respond to you like someone asked this question before yeah like i hooked up with this girl and then she like started ghosting me whatever bro there could be a multitude of reasons it could be buyer's remorse it could be another guy came back into the picture you were just a little fling yeah. right you caught her at the right time like women are super emotional so like how they feel at the time dictates what they do okay again one more time for you guys they're very a lot of the times they're very emotional so how they feel at the time dictates what they do so if they're feeling like young and wild and free they'll hook up with a guy that they meet at a, that they meet at a club or whatever but then the next day they might regret and say oh my god i feel so bad and then they'll go back to the guy that they had before like it's it's very um unpredictable right a lot of times so this is just a game guys this is just a game when you're a guy and you've been in it for a bit and you've dealt with a good amount of of ladies you'll just know this stuff it just it just happens you can't take it personal you can't get mad and um that's just what it is. Like, it, it, there's so many different things that could come into play, man. Like, there's so many variables that you can't control. That's why I tell you guys it's so important to uh, handle the variables that you can't control, like your own sexual market value, the way that you look, your fitness, and stuff like that, because you want to maximize your SMV so you can mitigate a lot of the problems that you're going to deal with 
naturally from dealing with girls. I mean, you look, like, we're telling you guys all this shit can happen, and some of you guys are in the chat are like, fuck, man, fuck this shit. I was like, this is what I'm up against? Whatever. So if you have all these things that you're up against, like, at least dominate the things that you can control. Yeah. All right. That's good. Uh, last two here. Number six is she just enjoys attention from guys. So as you guys know, girls, girls love attention. Social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, whatever that may be, they want to cry on camera, take their feelings to get your comments and likes on their posts. Now, bigger, I want to say, orgasm of like attention is when you make a guy get mad at you for flaking or, for example, be invested in this date and then flake. Because you can say, oh, this guy's mad at me. Look what he texted me. Uh, I just showed up on a date. He got mad. Look what he said to me. They put you in a group chat, laugh at you, whatever. That is the worst thing that they can do. Um, but that's what they do. They want attention so bad to show their friends that, oh, I made this guy flake, whatever. And what happens is you as a guy is like, damn, I set up the date, made a res reservation, whatever. I, I, I miss work, whatever, whatever you did to make this day happen. And she's laughing because, oh, just for attention or maybe for the, make her friends laugh. The point of guys is that like sometimes they're just bad people. And even though they want to say, oh, I'm a good girl, whatever, bro, she's flicking on you because she wants attention. So it happens all the time, man. It happens all the time. Um, yeah. Uh, this is, I guess, where you get into more like the, the negative side. Um, are we on YouTube still? Yeah, we're still on YouTube. Because I want to say more about I don't want to say YouTube. Yeah, go to Rumble so that Fresh can finish his thought and what he wanted to say. Uh, so yeah, guys, we're gonna come coming over to Rumble if you guys are watching on YouTube. Yeah, guys, I, like I told y'all, these types of videos always get us in trouble on YouTube, so we got to be careful with what we say on there. So yeah, we're on Rumble now. Go ahead, bro. They're bitches, bro. I'll tell you this straight up off the bat, bro. What happens to these girls, bro? Is that they suck it just so bad, and those literally sit there and be like, "Oh yeah, this guy right here wants to take me on a date." Group chat with their friends, and they'd be like, "Yeah, so he does this and that, but I'm gonna stand him up." Here's what, here's what he's gonna say, and they screenshot it and put it in a group chat. And that's what they do. And that's all they do all day. Mind you, they have a guy that they're, they're going to go with already. They're just playing games with you to make to make a joke up about you. And they may even know you in the city. They may know who you are. But to make you look bad and just have a laugh for attention, that's what they'll do. But they're fucking bitches, bro. That's what they do all day. It's just weird. For attention. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, this is... Um, you, you guys will be surprised at how many girls actually do this shit, man. Like, sometimes they'll just, like... They'll lead you on just to like get a rise, bro. And it's it's really fucked up that so many girls do that shit. But they, they, a lot of girls like just genuinely enjoy pissing you off, getting a reaction, and like like trying to see what the, the, they could push your buttons. Um, and and that's what they do, bro. Like this, like yo, I told you guys before, attention is a girl's like that's like sex to them, guys. Like attention for them is like sex. Like they get off on men wanting them, wanting them, and guys desiring them, and they also get off on the opportunities that they get. And so that they can say, like, for example, when you guys see these delusional girls come on the podcast, right, on After Hours, and they behave the way that they do and say the stupid shit that they say, do you guys know why they talk like that or why they have this worldview? It's because men, for fucking years, have pedestalized them. So then they come on this pod and say the dumb shit like, well, I can have any man that I want, like that 31 or 32-year-old bitch that was on here earlier, right? <laughs> that has another nigga's name tattooed on her back. Like, girls literally come in and think this way and behave this way because there's been years of programming where guys have sent on them guys have done this to them so then they think every guy is below them if you take an average girl she does not respect the average man guys i need you guys to really get this through your fucking skulls average women no longer respect average men okay if you take an average chick she still thinks she deserves a, an above average man that's what they really be thinking and so to them a lot of the time, it's a game. How many guys can I get to be on me? How many guys can I get to message me? How many guys can I get to offer me things? And then it's, okay, let me fuck with these guys, whatever. And this is the kind of a dark side of it. A lot of girls do this shit, man. You guys will be shocked at how many girls have group chats and they play games with each other and say, oh, yeah, let's go. Let's piss this guy off. Especially if, like, you're a guy known in your city or whatever. Oh, this nigga hit me up. Look, this celeb. And they get off on curving people. Remember Mia Khalifa's stupid whore ass? She would show DMs from dudes. All the time on her Instagram, look, this guy fucking wants me. This guy wants me. Fucking whore porn star ba bragging about dudes DMing her. Um, and other girls on Instagram all the time flexing. Oh, look, LeBron messaged me. Oh, look, this guy messaged me. And they screenshot that shit and try to use it to their advantage. Like, so many girls do this shit. And, like, whether they're a celeb or not, girls do it, man. Because they get off on men wanting them and they get off on rejecting them. Girls that literally do that shit. And they're, they're bad people, man. Very bad people. Take us that further because we're on Rumble right now. 
girls will screen, screenshot guys that pay for sex too as well. So what happened is, they're like, oh, look, you pay me for sex. Put in a group chat, I know you're known as these guys that pay. And as a result, you're a trick because off rip, they're like, okay, this guy's cool, whatever, we don't know him. But once they get you like that, now you're, now you're, you're like compromised because now they got your info, you send them uh, money, whatever, screenshot, put in a group chat, now you're a big ass trick. And now everyone, all their friends are like, oh yeah, he's a trick, I'm gonna try to finesse this guy. Yeah, so That's what they do, man. Yeah. So be careful, guys. Yeah. I mean, granted, if she put that shit out, she would make herself look bad. But well, they put but it in, yeah. in a group chat with girls only. Yeah. They don't put it in public. Unless yeah, yeah, because then the niggas would know she's a whore. Yeah. But that would be funny, though. <laughs> that would be funny. Because we know some tricks that do that shit. They show the cash app receipts. They, hey, bitch, you, you're a slut. It's weird. You know, which is kind of funny. Um, okay. Okay. Last point. Uh, okay, last point. So, guys, we're going to switch on over to uh, to Castle Club Ninjas. Come on over to Castle Club, guys. CastleClub.tv. Um, and also, we're going to tell you guys some stories and also um, answer some questions on there. Yes. So, uh, we're going to do the last point, uh, Q&A. Any, any more ad reads for uh, merch for Rumble before we head over? Uh, I don't think we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? yeah. Cool. All right, cool. No, nah, not right now. Um, but yeah, go get the merch, guys. Uh, be offensive. Be offensive. Uh, where are we at? Yeah, come on over, guys. Castle Club. Castle Club right now. CastleClub.tv. We're going to give the last one. I want to be able to give my full... Take on this yeah, one, last one. The real. I'm telling you, this is behind the scenes stuff, man. Only for Rumble and a Castle Club. Yep. Just Castle Club only. only. Switch on over to Castle Club. Oh, guys, get in there. Debate 24. Get Let's an go. annual membership right now. 60 bucks off. It'll get you down to 250 for the year, man. Get in there, guys. Show them real quick, uh, if you don't mind, Bills. Yeah, so before guys. I switch over, yeah. Come on over. This is what the checkout thing is going to be. It's 315 for the year. Fuck that. Do Debate 24, right? So, like, damn near half off. And then, bam, knocks it down, okay, to 250, and there you go. You guys got it for the year. You don't have to worry about this shit ever again. You could join in on the Zoom calls, join in the uh, uh, the different chapters. Um, like I told you before, we're building Castle Club chapters all over the country. And meetups, too, as well. So, yeah. All right. Someone said this is uh, Fresh and Fit's OnlyFans. Well, the difference is we're not showing our buttholes, and we're giving you guys actual real value. value. <laughs> Pitch ass nigga. So, <laughs> what the heck? Fucking faggot. You want to drink all those? Yeah. What's wrong with you, nigga? Fucking weirdo. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. We oh the Rumble rents. Yeah, we we'll read the Rumble sure, rents sure, before sure. we switch on over. Uh, bro knew she had the Hawk Tua. You seen that? You seen that video? <laughs> yeah, she got fired girl? for that shit, man. Crazy. Uh, we about the, the that guy, guy who... wasn't a troll. His game is smashing his friends' women. Look out! Look for, out for these men. They'll fuck your girl. Keep leading from the front, gentlemen. Yeah. Um, you know what's funny? When the girl like they try to fuck, tells you like, "Oh, your friend tried to hit on me." It's like, oh, that's terrible, that's bro. Weird, man. That's some snaky behavior, it's man. Weird, bro. Like that. That tells me you get no bitches. <laughs> if you gotta fuck your friends, girl, like, bro, you, you, you're, you're, you're just a lower status male most of the time. You're just a weirdo. You don't have honor. You're a faggot. That's sad. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, my ex hit me up after a year of dead silence. I've gotten fit, got my money up even more, and doing a lot better since then. I turned that bitch down, and not gonna lie, I felt good as fuck. Okay, that's Albo, cool. Albo, that's cool. you know what? That feeling that you got, right? I need you to, to memorize that, all the guys in the chat here, because you guys probably have been with a girl before that like rejected you or whatever, and then uh, she comes back later. That's how women feel all the time when they reject niggas. It feels great. They love it, bro. Yeah. Trying to explain to you guys, like they, they get off on being able to like reject you and put niggas on blast. Like A lot of girls do that shit. Now, bro. imagine if you're a big time in your city. Or like you're like a celebrity, or even like a guy that has like some status. Bro, I'm telling you, have man. a kickoff from doing that. So some of these girls like literally get a fucking huge, like, orgasm. That's why oh. their egos are so big, man. If I'm gonna keep it a thousand with y'all, that's why their egos are so fucking big. It's because they just get off on doing that shit. It's what they do. Don't worry. Um, women deserve less. Question: How do you sign contracts when you have an LLC name? LLC name. What? Sign contracts? Uh, you sign it with your name, bro. I don't understand. Yeah, oh. I don't understand this question. Oh, he's saying name, LLC name? Oh, just sign it with your name. If you're the CEO of the company, just sign it with your name. Okay. Yeah, that's I, it. I don't understand that question, but uh, what else do you got here? He wants to, I think he wants to sign documents from his LLC, but it's signing Vegas name. Rolling Stone, I was, wasn't trolling in my last S, uh, Super Chat. We were both out in a group, all got shitty, and I woke up on her bed the next day. Her and her dude live in a different state, and I know she's messed around before. He's had some... Uh, Side stuff as well. So, yeah, bro. What bro. does that have to do with anything? I mean, it doesn't change the fact that you're a certified piece of shit. So, I mean, I think what you should do, bro, is just tell him the fucking truth. Be prepared for him to punch you in the face, or not be friends with you anymore. Gonna kill you, bro. And uh, <laughs> and that's it. And just be and just be done with it because at least this he needs to know that his girl is doing this shit. So, you know, 
if you're more of a coward about it, you can go ahead and like tell them anonymously. But yeah, bro, I I think um you should just tell them the truth and tell them what it is and be prepared to either maybe do it on the phone so you don't get attacked. I'll say, bro, you're you're not a friend though, bro. Just yeah, keep you it are, I ain't gonna lie, you a scumbag, nigga. You're not a friend, bro. But hey, you know what? Look, now, even though that's that, that 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 sucks, I will say just tell the truth and just don't do the shit again. Just don't do it again, bro, because that is some scummy ass behavior. It's uh, one thing not to know. If I, like, like you knew, nigga, come on, man. You being drunk, no me no sense. Uncle Luke. Yeah. The only uh, way to end this stupidity is a worldwide crisis must occur where women have to revert back to their normal nature of dependency on men. World War Three or some ish. LOL. I love my FNFM. Appreciate to you, bro. that, man. But Uncle Luke in the building. Yeah, ain't, that ain't gonna happen, man. Yeah. <laughs> These women fall really hard for feminism, bro. It ain't it is not it's not gonna happen. Too far gone. Oh yeah, it's too far gone now. Um, what else we got? That's it? All right, ninjas, come on over to Castle Club. CastleClub.tv. We're going to give the last point and then do a Q&A with the people. And uh, we're going to get raw with this last one because um, I'm just going to say what the fuck I want to say because I'm tired of fucking censoring myself BBC gang. on this shit. And, and we're going to interact with some of you guys over there on Castle Club. And we got chats that we got to read over there, too, that are not safe. So At all. let us know when we're good. Okay. CastleClub.tv, ninjas. But yeah, man. <laughs> some stories for days, man. Yeah, absolutely. And all right, cool. We are clear. Welcome to Castle Club, faggots. The real we got show, chat going. Going. the real show, faggots. Yeah, the real shit. Welcome to the real fucking show, motherfuckers. Okay, so uh, the last one here, guys, is um, <laughs> she's a whore. Yeah, straight up, she's a whore, bro. And uh, yeah. you know what's funny about whores, bro? Whores are fun, man. Uh, whores are really fun. I be honest, guys, I love whores. The problem is, bro, is the like, it's like playing with fire. You might get burned a couple times. I don't mean like like that. I mean as as in like, they have a lot of past history that can really jack you up, and a lot of trauma too. So it's almost like, like you're fighting like demons at the same time. But it's fun, great sex, all that fun stuff. When it comes to actual dates, though, bro, um, girls that are whores, like you invite them out. And sometimes you don't even know because either they pretend to be all pure, all nice. And you're like, okay, cool. she seems cool. I'll invite her out. I want to take her out, whatever. And this girl has so many niggas. Bro, you ever been on a date with a girl and her phone's like facing like, like upward? Snapchat requests. Instagram requests. Like actual text going bing, 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 bing. It's like, whose phone is this? Are you the president? What the fuck? And I'm telling you guys, like off the bat, it's like, who are you? So, I'm saying here, here, here guys, that like, some girls that you, that you invite on dates won't show up because they're fucking whores. And they have so many options, it's like, you're just another number. Who are you? So off rip, these whores, bro, have no respect for you as a man, as a leader. So they're never going to show up anyway. And I say, get rightfully so mad because they're fucking whores, bro. Fucking whores. <laughs> That's what they are, man. Right, so I'll go a little bit deeper. Um, so... Yeah, obviously the last one is she's a whore, but it goes way deeper than that, guys. So you guys got to understand that promiscuous women, right, a.k.a. sluts, whores, whatever you want to call them, simply are not good people. I'm going to say this one more time for y'all. Okay, really burn this in your brains, okay? Promiscuous women, a.k.a. whores, are not good people, okay? Why are they not good people? Well, for you to become a whore, okay, as a female, by the way, is not easy to do. It's contrary to popular belief. It's actually not easy to do. It takes a mental toil on you. You have to abandon certain characteristics to get to that point to be able to do it. Okay? You lose integrity. You lose your morality. You lose your honesty. You lose your empathy. You lose your humanity in a process. Right? This is why girls that end up doing porn. If you guys notice, we've been talking. I've, I've been uh, like last month. I tweeted a bunch of porn stars that killed themselves. Ask yourself, why did these fucking girls take shotguns and blow their fucking brains out? Why did they kill themselves? The reason why, guys, is because you lose your essence as a female. You lose your essence as a human being when you become a slut. Okay? Your because soul. for you to become a slut, you must sell your soul. Okay? So when you're a good person, guess what happens? You lack in when you're not a good person, you lack integrity, you lack honesty, and then you lack empathy. You're not you're no longer able to put yourself in the shoes of another individual. You know, I've always I've talked about this with you guys before, saying that women in general typically don't have empathy. Well, when you're a slut, you have zero empathy. None. Absolutely fucking none. zero. Yeah, none. Okay? And the other thing, too, is that women that are whores have been dogged out by men. Okay? That's why they're whores. And when you've been dogged out by men, 
for so long, you no longer respect men, you no longer give a shit about men, and you have a very toxic relationship with men. This is why having a father is so fucking important. Because when a woman doesn't have a positive masculine influence on her life, what she ends up doing is dealing with men that are nothing but perverts, weirdos, sickos, etc. So she sees the dark side of male nature. This is why girls that are whores, right? Okay. So when a girl deals with a guy from a sexual standpoint only, right, and she's a whore, whether she's selling her body, whatever the fuck it is, prostitutes, whatever the fuck, right? They see the deprived state of sexual nature from a lot of these weirdos that pay them. They're getting shit on. They're getting abused during sex. Put they're getting slapped. On. They're doing all this weird shit to make a dollar, right? Doing some strange for some change. Yeah. Right? That does something to your mental psyche where you start to like think like all men are like that or all men are like pieces of shit, Right? And then on the other hand, this is why I tell y'all prostitution actually is like one of the worst things because it fucks up both genders. So from the male perspective, you're dealing with women that only want to deal with you and look at you as a fucking wallet, right? So then you start becoming a huge misogynist, you start hating them, you start resenting them. Then on the female side, you become a misandrist because you start seeing the toxic and der terrible nature of men's sexuality the worst part and, you don't, and you see the worst part and you just don't respect them. So prostitution, the process of prostitution negatively affects both genders, right? But the difference is this. If you're a dude and you're just like paying for box all the time, et cetera, and you become a misogynist, you could still get married and find a wife down the road. You know what I mean? You could eventually do that. But as a chick, when you're a prostitute and you're selling your box, you're you're pretty much fucking done. You're cooked. You're finito. You won't be able to hold a, down a man long term anymore. It's over for you. Right? So why you guys can't get mad a lot of times when girls like Flake or do this dumb shit is they're just whores. And whores are not good people. You got to find someone who's, this is why I tell you all the time, man, you can't wife up whores. They're going to fuck your life up. So just to make this. Look at Fresh. Nigga, they're like, come on, man. That bitch fucking did that dumb shit. She tried. She fucking tried. slut. She tried, man. Obviously, he got out. Yeah, yeah. But, yo, could you imagine? Thank you. It's going back. By the way, these whores are liars, man. They lie all day. I'll give you a story. Survival tactics. So recently. They can't be honest. Have, they have to lie. They have to lie. For money, to live. And survive because they're dealing a lot of times they deal with dudes that would beat the shit out of them that's why they gotta lie that's why they gotta lie yeah so this is for cats club only behind the scenes right now me and myra texting the same girl right uh colombian i'll show you right now who she is that's who you, oh yeah i remember now when you said and yeah we both invited her out on a date and what happened it was, actually was a funny experiment she was texting us at the same time thinking that we didn't know yeah but obviously we we're boys so we were like yo you know this chick? Yeah, I know this chick. She's texting me right now. Oh, shit. Shorty doing that right now? No way. Yeah. So she told you. We're like, uh, it'd be a fun experiment. Yeah. I'm actually so, glad that we're telling this yeah, story yeah. To the, for these guys. So she yeah. told you one thing and told me one thing. Yeah. And it's like, bitch, you're fucking lying. Yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly, she told you she's doing schoolwork? Something like that? Uh, yeah. Or she had, yeah, something along the lines. Like she just finished walking her dog and she was doing something. Yeah. yeah. And she told me she's going to sleep and wake up and text me and come with me later, right? Yeah. Funny enough, right, I did some investigation. Because obviously, you know, I'm the Instagram god. Wink, wink. And I go on my spam account. Now, my spam account, it's a random page. You know what I'm saying? No picture, no followers. So they don't know who it is, man. It could be anybody. I'm watching you niggas. Just kidding. No, you're not kidding. <laughs> Anyhow, I see her story, and she's literally out. On, I won't say it's a date, but she's with some guy and some girls. No club, right? Yeah. Now, mind you, I don't really care because it's not my girl. We don't really care. We don't give a fuck. Yeah. But she told us one thing. I'm glad we were actually doing this because yeah. we did say we did say like, yo, this is gonna be interesting. Let's. Th this is good. Go ahead. So continue. she told us one thing. Yep. Sorry, two different things. Yep. So she's a fucking liar, dumbass whore. But but granted, she was thinking, oh, I'm gonna just tell them what they want to hear so I can go do my shit, hit them out later. So, come to find out, she comes up later, right, to out with me, and I already know what she did. So, I bring other girls, because I already know what type of time they're on. Yep. So, we're at the table, we got girls with us, I'm with my friends, and it's pretty much the table is full. They want to come to the table, oh, ladies, you got to stand up. Because, man, mind you, there's like a, a, a club section for, for the club, and there's like a, a couch. That was full. I could have made space for them. I was like, hey, you know what? You got to stand up if you want to be here. Then what happened was we bought a bottle, we did shots, I didn't pay of course, and we get everyone there drinks but them. So they got mad and left. And it's funny because imagine if I was like, you know what? 
she's a, a good girl. She's gonna go sleep and rest up. Come with me later. Have fun. Bitch was lying the whole time, bro. To me, to Myron, and it's like, this is normal, guys. But guess what? She's a fucking whore. So at that point, it don't matter. I'm gonna treat her like a whore up front. And Fresh gave her a better option because I said some bullshit about uh, what I what I say. Uh, you get some food or some shit like yeah. that down the street because I don't. I'm I'm be honest with you. I'm lazy now. I don't take these bitches on dates no more. Fuck that shit. But, like, but also they want to party. Yeah. So Fresh had a way better option. Literally, you guys are seeing it play out. Yeah. He had a better offer. She went there. That's all it was, offer. Yeah, and then uh, she went there, brought her friend or whatever. Oh, we can go to the club and party and shit like that. And she went, and then Fresh was like, fuck this bitch, you ain't gonna, you know, the play, he, he played her back and said, hey, we're not giving you no drinks, whatever, and she left. Yeah. And <laughs> it, it was hilarious. So, uh, but that just goes to show you guys, like, that's that's what they do. They openly lie, right? And this is a girl that, like, you know, has a bunch of